So now we're going to go... Oh, that actually opened up a lot. Oh, there's a... There's a town here. Alright, so what am I doing? No, that has... Oh, no, no. I was going for this. Which is still quite a ways away. Did I save? Now I did. Where's my mount? Uh, I've been wanting to find a workbench for quite a while. So I can craft some things. You know, that... That's one thing that I wish they would have kept the same is having the ability to craft just from your inventory. Because it was convenient, you know? It's like, oh, I need, like, potions or... Uh, something. Actually, I can craft potions, can I? I might be able to. But I don't remember how to do that. I think there is a way. Pretty sure that's the passage Laren's contract mentioned. I should make sure I have my facts straight. Give the contract a quick read. Showwalkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. It might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. Hang on. Is there like a contract thing here? Hang on, upgrading gear. Ooh, I don't know. I think I have to go to a workbench to upgrade gear, which is something you didn't have to do in the first game. Kinda wish that wasn't the case. Learn requires plating from a shellwalker crate to craft his armor. Ambushing a nearby convoy should provide his team with what they need. Find more details in the data point copy. Okay. So there's a copy of the contract somewhere in here. There we go. The following contract, as bestowed by Carefs Salvage Unlimited Salvagers, hereby engages the recipient hunter to provide the following services. The hunter will eliminate at least one shellwalker from the designated machine convoy to provide the salvagers access to a shellwalker crate. Any other salvage can be gathered as payment for services rendered. A campsite and traps have been provi provided at the marked passage, which is regularly visited by the convoy. The hunter understands that accepting this contract involves inherent risks, including physical and or psychological injury, pain, suffering, disfigurement, temporary or permanent paralysis, and or death. But please don't die, I really need those parts. Larend, okay. Oh, I should stock up on medicine here. Save these for when I need it. Because I am low. I oh man. Up. Wait for the convoy. I am in desperate need. Getting messed up by all those machines really took a toll. What traps do I have? I have an acid trap, I have a blast trap. I don't know, maybe they'll go through that. I'm the worst at setting traps, all right. Oh. 
you know, now that I think about it, since I need stuff, I probably shouldn't blow it up. Dismantle. There we go. Where's that thing? Here we go. save here and then we'll wait convoy it's here and unfortunately my mount is just <laughs> left there god damn it wait what I swear if my mount is like... Oh, there it is. Warren's contract said they'd set up traps along the passage. Might as well use them. Oh, like this thing? I'd rather just... Wait for this to crush this shell walker. Well, got cut off. Gotta move. Weak versus that. Okay. This is why I should upgrade my arrow stuff as well. Don't you run away. Oh no. Oh shoot. Underestimated him. I underestimated it. Shellwalkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Convoy, it's here. Laren's contract said they'd set up traps along the passage. Might as well use them. Keep that in mind. Yeah, we'll see about that. Should have set up a acid trap up there. Oh, I could climb all the way up here. That might help. Well, if Aloy would go all the way over there. But she won't. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the the shell walker. There's only one shell walker with him. 
And it did absolutely nothing. No! Of course, I would damage my mount. Oh, that was it. or corroded. Come on. Just die. You have one health. I should salvage what I can and make the planning for Laron's crew. Sorry, sheep. <laughs> I had to. I mean, that's what you get for walking up on me. Oh, I don't want the lock. Alright, so that wasn't uh, the most interesting way to fight him, but it's probably the safest way. Plenty of salvage for me. It's always good to have extra. Kind of a cheesy, cheesy strat. Just snipe him. <laughs> Not a big fan of playing like that, but eh, do what you gotta do. Hang on, there's oh yeah, there was something over here, wasn't there? what it is or if it's actually nearby oh it's like way over there screw that <laughs> no we'll go back we'll go back over here turn in this uh contract maybe we'll get another one see this is why i should go back to chain scrape also because um you know i need to turn in a quest there and I don't know if I'm going to get, like, another quest from that. Because that's kind of how it worked in the first game. There were some quests that you would get after you finish another quest. Um, I don't really like that system, though. Because then it's just like, oh, I got to go back and forth from place to place. Which... You know, is really just a waste of time. That's all it is. I really don't like that feeling. I must be closing in on the signal. You going the right way? I don't know where. There's a 
Oh, this is bad. Must have been a huge battle. The old ones. They gave everything they had to slow down the Pharaoh Swarm. To buy Zero Dawn time. Yeah, I'm just gonna sprint through this. I don't want to fight anybody. All right. You're back. Yes, I am. I took down that shell walker for you. Can I have a good reward? Vonda, Rendor, we got a pickup. For our contract, here's your payment. This will definitely help me make some great armor. But well, I realized an armor made out of shell walker plating's good. But with just a few minor additions, it could be so much better. Oh. If you'd be willing to take on a few more contracts. What you, you son of a... You see, this is... I, I knew this was going to happen, you know? It's like, oh, give me this thing. And then I go get it. And I come back and it's like, oh, well, I need some more stuff. So now I got to go out and get that stuff. And I'm going to have to come back here. And then it's like, oh, wait, you know... This could be okay, but I gotta make... I, I I need some more stuff to make it even better. It's like, oh, man. What else <sighs> do you need for your armor? Alarm antennas? Strong? Supple? I could use them to make my armor more flexible? We picked out a herd of scroungers already. I'll, uh, read through the contract. See what I can do. Best of luck! Mm-hmm. Tell me more about these contracts of yours. I was thinking, scrabber jaws are powerful. I could use them to strengthen my armor. Crew spotted a pack of them not far from here, primed for salvage. I guess I can give the contract a look. Fantastic. Do you have anything in your thing? I don't think so. Well, I'm not buying anything. I know I can make the perfect. All right. Alarm antennas. The following contract as bestowed. Okay, that's that. I'm not going to read through that because it's the same thing every time. It's just telling you what the... It's legal mumbo jumbo. Uh, the hunter will retrieve alarm antennas from the designated pack of sentry scroungers. Recommend shooting off the antennas before being spotted. Okay. So we want to shoot off the antennas before we get spotted... So that they can't alert their buddies to, you know, attack me. That's actually very good advice. And the other one is for the, uh, the Scrapper Jaws. Taking down a few chargers at the mark site to lure them in. Okay. So... You know that place I I died earlier, where I was just getting destroyed. I'm pretty sure those are scrappers, and that was probably that was probably what I needed. Here, I'll, I'll take a look, but I, I guarantee you it's gonna. Oh, nope, it's actually over there. They're going to send me all the way back to uh, the first area. <sighs> See, this is why I don't like fetch quests. You know, it's just a whole lot of back and forth. Like I was just talking about. Going back and forth between all these areas. So, uh, yeah. So, that's the main quest. That's all the way over there. The bristleback thing... is actually further away. I mean, they're all about, like, the same distance, basically. Let's see, I'm level 12, so... 
Yeah, I probably should head towards the main quest and start doing that. I mean, look. Riding the charger actually does help with travel time and everything. Oh, hang on. Is there a way for me to, like, tell who's an enemy and who's not? Because it's very hard to tell. Come back here. Oh! I can't see. How are you still alive? loot all these people first. Dude, they all had health potions. That's that's actually useful. <laughs> if it isn't the hero of the day. Sure I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working no man's land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know, after that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak, the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through this stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we have straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this, too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. <laughs> and that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. Well, let's hope not. Uh, three... Uh, three smoke bombs? That was my reward? Okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. Also, apparently this is the ruins. Old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Looks like this door is locked. Alright, so it's going to be one of these things that I'm going to have to, like, figure out how to navigate. What's this? I should grab this. You know, it's a good thing I got some potions off of those, uh, okay. rebels. Let's see what we can find around here. Because, you know... I consider that part of the reward, and uh, it was a pretty good reward. This crate might be useful. Yeah, it might be. For what? I don't know. I'm gonna go in that vent eventually. I just want to take a look around here. Also, she said something about like green or red crystals. I don't know what that means. These things. Red crystals growing on the wall. I don't think there's anything I can do about them. Well. And now we're out here. Oh wait. There's something up here. 
Well, without a way to get through those red crystals, there's nothing we can do. I'm move on for now. Oh man. So I can't okay. So I'm probably gonna have to like figure out what these crystals do and then figure out how to deal with them and then I'll probably like end up blowing up this wall probably because it looks like a destructible wall. <laughs> so that I can get inside. Okay. Unfortunately I haven't learned about red crystals yet. That sucks. But I'm glad Aloy said something so I wasn't sitting there for like, you know, two hours trying to figure out what the hell to do. <laughs> Alright, so we'll try to keep that one in mind. But let's just keep going. Who would have thought that riding mounts would actually make traveling faster? It probably would have helped in the first game. I just never really... I never really bothered to try to override chargers and stuff. Or really any machines. I think the nice thing about this game is that once we override a charger, it becomes our charger. What is... deal with those. But yeah, the fact that we have a mount that we can call whenever we want and it's ours until it dies, I think that that kind of makes me, uh, I guess, use it more. Because like I said, the first game you actually had to go override a charger and then you would ride it around. You didn't actually get to keep it. So it was kind of like, eh. <laughs> I'll just run. It looks like the coordinate silence gate when you match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? I don't know. This kind of looks uh, a bit scary. I'm gonna have to look up how to dive, because I, I just don't know how it works. Alright, I, I don't really need this stuff. There's a lot to explore down there. I don't know what I could find. Don't tell me that, Aloy. <laughs> don't tell me to explore something. Because now I will. Oh, jeez. Pretty sure all these green things are just, like, plants I can pick up. Also, one thing I think I noticed is, uh... You know, if I actually start sprinting... Or swimming faster. You know, same thing. You know what I mean. If I swim fast in, in the water, I lose my oxygen faster. This is it. Location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. Workshop underneath a dead horse titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away to. But what must we do? Well, I don't know what he was doing here. But it looks like we got a bunch of uh, stuff to check out. The device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. You can't even speak. Now the processing walk of a Titan on the other hand. Well, you're used to that. Silence, but a lot of but once I know you that, you'd be so much more comfortable. Until interrogations begin, anyway. All 
Alright, I didn't mean to have Aloy over talk over him, but eh, whatever. Interrogation log. Despite my concerns about missing couplings, it was relatively simple to install Hades on the detached processing orb. The subject appears to be fully conscious and completely helpless. Even so, it will never divulge its contents willingly. Ergo, it's time for some experimentation. Initial attempts have failed, but patience is, oh, is in order. It's self-aware so it can suffer. Okay. Uh... Success. The irony is delicious. Various forms of data pro produce discomfort in the subject, but none more so than natural imagery. Holographic representations of plants and animals work best. The more vivid, the better. The effect appears to be excruciating. One loop in particular of rabbits hope hopping through a field of flowers produce paroxysms of agony. Very soon, I believe the subject will become compliant. Extracted... Fascinating technical specs on da Ga Gaia's da data structure. Uh, heuristic matrix interweaved with subordinate functions. About the system's intended workings and especially Hades' re relatively simple role as extinction failsafe. The more I wonder about the signal that corrupted it. Could it possibly transform a low-level machine intelligence into a fully conscious super entity capable of strategic planning, deceit, and even genocide? Some form of previously unknown Pharaoh software, but I don't see how how technology could be sufficiently advanced. Unless further technical discoveries were made after the destruction of the biosphere, perhaps by survivors in Elysium. And I'm just trying to skip through this as fast as I can. But... Hades digital convulsions produce waves of feedback that corrupt its data structures and the effect is accelerating. The interrogation is quite literally disintegrating its mind piece by piece. By the time I'm done, there will be little left. Uh, data extracted is worth any price as long as I can access it all before the subject becomes electronic equivalent of a hollowed out skull. Finally, the revelation I've been seeking has revealed itself, astonishing and terrifying even to me. With it, the seeds of a plan have formed within my mind. The, new, the next few months will test my capabilities more than any previous challenge. I'll have to stretch my intellect, reach higher, and dig deeper than ever before. I'm confident it can be accomplished with a little help, of course. Work here's done. Hades deserves no pity. Uh, time to re relocate to a more oppressive position for its date with destiny. Halo still hasn't returned to Meridian, nor learned of... My ruse, but she will. It's only a matter of time, and then the pieces will begin to fall into place. Hmm. Okay. So he interrogated Hades, basically, to the point where... He may have destroyed Hades? Or... Destroyed Hades' mind? I don't know. But would that mean Hades isn't a threat, or... Uh, I don't know, maybe Hades has become more unhinged, or something. Who knows? Aloy's gonna have to figure this one out for me. <laughs> Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead. A perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. Find out where he moved the orb. 
Yeah, okay. That's kind of what I got from this thing also. Um, you know, Gaia... Th there's information about Gaia. And... You know, Silence obviously wants that data because, you know, more knowledge. But I'm also assuming he's going to use that to motivate Aloy to follow. And... Now we're going to have to rely on silence because it's like, well, he kind of knows about how to reboot Gaia, which is what we need, so we kind of have to follow him also. But it's probably going to be a trap. Alright, so I'm going to upgrade some stuff here. I've got a bunch of stuff to upgrade. Uh, let me see about pouches. Tripwire and bomb satchel. Well, there's really nothing I want. That sucks. I can craft potions. That's good. We have outfit upgrades. Could fully upgrade this. Get a weave slot. Mm-hmm. I mean it might might be worth it. Because I can customize it. So I'll do that. Not sure, I'm gonna have to think about this. Yeah, I need a look at what I have. So this is the uh this is this thing that I usually use. So 28 and 60 is basically my damage and tear. That's what I need to focus on. This is newer. Hmm. Plus 30% overdraw damage? That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm focused on the, uh, the actual bows. What is this? 6 and 25. Go up to 9 to 47. 9 to 45. Well... Hmm. 30 and 65 for that one. I could start using this bow instead. Swap it out for the hunter bow. What I'm thinking. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to mess around with stuff. I'm going to take a look at what I have and uh, try to figure out what I want exactly. So, yeah, but it's going to take a while, so I'm going to, I'm not going to actually do that here right now. I'm going to do that on my own because, uh, well, it would probably take, well, it will take too long. So anyway, uh, I'll do that. I'm going to take a break here, actually. Uh, so I can actually take the time to see what I want. Figure things out, maybe come up with a plan for everything. And uh, we'll go from there. So that's what I'm going to do. Mess with the workbench. Uh, trying to plan things out and then... We'll continue the main story, but that is going to be it for right now. So thank you for watching and hopefully I will talk to you all later.